Botticelli in the Fire is a giddy nihilistic romp. A pyrotechnic period drama that vigorously thrusts its way into a position of contemporary cultural relevance, somewhere between Brexit and RuPaul's Drag Race. Jordan Tanner Hill's script is Shakespearean in its regard for historical fact and Breakshin in its regard for the Fourth Wall, a mishmash of modern and 15th century Florentine culture, of fact and fiction. It's a query imagining of the painter's seemingly inevitable collision with the austere religiosity of the firebrand preacher Savonarola, and his bonfire of the vanities. Botticelli himself is well acted, by Dickie Bow, and engaging, but the character is shallow and cliched. He's the dissolute, selfish, self destructive creative genius we've seen countless times. In an opening address, he tells the audience, I promise you this isn't going to be another tortured fag artist sob story. Okay, maybe it is. This is a play which, appropriately for a tale of bottomless appetite, wants to have its cake and eat it, but as a consequence it's permeated by a sense of indecisiveness, it even has both sad and happy endings. The play is best when at its most camp and fantastical, with the audience most audibly enthused by a surreal interlude in which the sequin-clad goddess Venus, Seren Saba, perched on a giant scallop shell, and surrounded by gyrating dancers in gas masks and skimpy dungarees comically addresses the tribulations of being a beautiful woman. Botticelli in the Fire is a vivid, entertaining exploration of how messy things can become when excess and inequality trigger populist backlash. If you're sitting in the front row, wear a waterproof poncho. For more on this story, visit the news article link.